Hey guys, this is Eddie Bucks, and today I'm going to do a little review of the Pikmin Terrarium Collection. Pretty sure these are in Japan, but you can get them on Amazon and eBay. They go from like, what, $70 to $100 to go to get all of them, all six. And as you can see, I have them uh, here from wor uh, first to the worst. <laughs> so right here we have the Pikmin carrying an object and also I'm going to be telling you because actually you're going to have to when you get these you're going to actually have to put them together they don't just come in they don't just come like this which is actually pretty surprising so you know you've got the cork here and then you also have this part at the top which holds everything together there's also a little little part at the bottom which holds it together too and the only ones I had trouble with are this one, because the water Pikmin seem to uh, just <laughs> wobble around in there. They're not really like stuck in one spot, kind of like these these people. Are, it's really nice. They're all stuck in one spot, can't move around. Although the lily pad, it's not even like if I move this, the lily pad's gonna like shake. This one. The dead Pikmin does shake, it does add a little bit. This one was was hard to put in. The little piece that holds holds up the bulb orb actually broke off. <laughs> this one was probably the easiest to put together, but this thing isn't even connected. But apart from the bad, these things do look pretty nice. Um, I do like this one. And I will be showing you where I display them. I don't know if you can notice, but the rock pigment looks like he's floating, though. <laughs> and then the Olimar looks really nice. Then we have the Pikmin in the water. This one is pretty cool, too. A little battle scene. And then we have the blue Pikmin in distress, as always. He's always getting destroyed. <laughs> And then the yellow Pikmin getting charged. One thing you will have to worry about is that those are, there is this little line, so you'll probably want to make sure that that's not in front. And also you have little stands for each of them, too. Some of them do say Pikmin, some of them don't. That one says Pikmin, and then these two over here say Pikmin as well. This is what the box looks like, if you're wondering what the box looks like. And then there's a little tag that confirms a complete set. And then also they do have instructions, but they're not good. They're not good. <laughs> it's just basically like what you would know. It's like the easiest instructions. Like you would know like, okay, like this big part goes to the big part and this small part goes to the small part. Where all the Pikmin pl are placed, you'll just have to figure that out. But it is usually pretty self-explanatory. And pretty easy. The only one that wasn't easy was the orange, because it's like, wait, which part of the orange is faced where? But it's not too hard. And they look pretty nice. Now I'm going to show you where I'm going to display them. So that's where they are displayed. Definitely great display pieces. Um, the in inside pieces do smell like some type of factory plastic, but they are contained inside. <laughs> <laughs> the other clear dome plastic pieces. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and if you did, then you can like it. And I'll see you guys next time.